Hey, Chief, thank you so much. Well, you're welcome. Yeah. I don't know much. You're not going to learn much here. <laughs> I did a little history. Mm, okay. A history. Well, I'll give you a little bit. We're kind of heavy in the photography. I must have, I don't know how many slides. There's probably several thousand, yeah. And I got a lot of them in uh, books. Well, for people who might be interested, it's local history of streets and churches. And well, I thought it has interesting stuff for people to look at, but my kids don't seem to be very interested in this type of thing. That's why I'm giving it away to, to a historical place of some kind. There were three sections to McHenry. There was West McHenry, they had a post office. They had Center Town, they had a lot of good stores. Riverside Drive had a post office and more stores. So it was actually three towns or three communities maybe, I should say. McHenry, Lake, and another county were one. That building you saw, Bittler's Tavern, the one my son now owns, it's called Town Club, was the municipal buildings for the county. They had a feud going between Woodstock and McHenry, one night, the people from Woodstock came over and broke in and took all of the, got hold of all the records, took all the stuff to Woodstock. Well, about 1951, I think it was, an opening come along, and I went to work running a movie projector. I read the whole Bible one time. I was working at the drive-in theater, and I took the Bible up there. You have time between reels to do something. Yeah, that was a good job. Riverside Hotel is the one that's still there. That was made from bricks from the clay hole. They used to have balconies all around it, they're gone. It's been there many, many years back in, before my time. That's the Northwestern Hotel. At that time, it was usually the hotel. Now it's usually the boarding house. And across the street from there, and towards the railroad tracks, they had a set of rails that went, went inside a huge building. It was a lumber company. You run the cars in there in the rain and unload them without getting wet. So it was very convenient for the people who worked there to unload the cars. It was a furniture store and he done funeral work on the sideline. The building is there. It moved from Main Street to Green and Elm. He had a little uh, section run into the government for a post office. You know, that was on the corner of River, uh, Elm Street and Green Street, the north east corner. They used to have their display out on the sidewalk. They're still in business. <laughs>